Athletes like to get the same kinds of decadent modern homes that movie stars, rappers, and tech billionaires do. And in one case, a multi-million dollar castle. The celebrated yet controversial golfer Tiger Woods is apparently worth $800 million. So of course he would buy a $54 million home that screams, I am the best golfer in the world. It is a 9,700 square foot property with two separate sections. It is a modern looking home with plenty of greenery, straight lines and long spaces you'd expect a professional golfer to appreciate. Inside the home looks like a lot of celebrity homes nowadays. The first is a 3,300 square foot living quarters. White walls and floors, plenty of comfy yet noticeably expensive furniture and plenty of art hanging everywhere. The second building is a 6,400 square foot multi-purpose building. It includes a world-class gym, a theater, and a multimedia room, not to mention an oxygen therapy room. As far as other amenities go, it features a tennis court, a basketball court, a fitness center, and of course multiple pools. One is a 100-foot swimming lap pool, and the other is a 60-foot diving pool. Near the ocean is a private dock for his boats. He also created his own practice facility to keep his skills sharp. It features four greens, six bunkers, and multiple types of sand. He can also hit balls off of his second story studio. Everyone in Hollywood seems to be going for the same whiter than an Apple store color scheme with a ton of natural light and open space. Well, I'm here to tell you that the California home of LeBron James puts all of those to shame. It's been called a masterpiece of light and design, and I gotta say, I agree. This is the only home that costs $23 million that I think should be more expensive. The architecture of this home takes the boxy modern LA trend and perfects it. This home is all windows, grand open spaces, and style. After you get past the courtyard of concentric brick circles, you'll see an 8-bedroom, 11-bath home full of marble countertops, marble walls, and natural French oak floors. Walking through the home, you'll see a chef's kitchen, huge walk-in closets, a private patio from the master bedroom, and a lovely rooftop terrace. I can't get over how meticulously designed all of this is. I mean, the home theater even has an area with marble countertops. The pool table looks like it's in an art show. If that isn't classy enough for you, his garage is called an auto gallery. Special additions include a wine cellar, cigar lounge, onyx bar, indoor slash outdoor gym, spa, and pool that blends perfectly into the home. Is it too on the nose to say that LeBron James has a house that dunks on all the rest? I mean, it's accurate, but I feel like it's a little too on the nose. Guys, Derek Jeter lives in a castle. The famous baseball star has amassed $200 million, so I guess I would expect him to live somewhere extravagant. But a freaking castle? His neighbors in Tampa have apparently coined the home St. Jetersburg, which is kind of perfect, honestly. The $29 million, 22,000 square foot stonework estate may look like something you'd see in the Middle Ages from a distance, but not inside. The interior of the home is beautifully modern in a way I wish more celebrity homes were. It ditches that white on white color palette for black walls and columns against white marble floors. This aesthetic is constant throughout the house and even the spiral staircase. The home's seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms also fit this style with huge showers and black and white cabinets. It has plenty of open space, several curved living spaces, a kitchen with two islands, and a master bedroom with a small fireplace. Beyond that, it has a wine cellar, a home theater, a professional gym, and an all-wood office. The porch has 9,000 square feet that leads to an 80-foot saltwater lap pool and luxury heated spa. Beyond that is a private dock with two boat lifts. The real sell of this house is the beautiful view, though. I mean, looking out your kitchen into miles of blue sky melting into darker blue water beneath it probably never gets old. This is by far the classiest place in the world to repel an army of invading Vikings. Depending on where you are in the United States, Tom Brady is either the most beloved and most hated football player of all time. Love him or hate him, you've got to respect the skill that's earned him $250 million. He put $40 million into buying a huge estate presumably just to rub it in the faces of fans who hate his guts. It's a sprawling tan and blue estate with a pool that blends into the architecture of the home better than any I've ever seen. Despite its massive size, the interior is a lot more relaxed than you'd expect. Every single room is decorated as if it's a cover for a magazine like Home and Garden. This is likely due to Brady's wife, the stylish model Giselle Boonchen. The highly Instagrammable home features wood floors, plenty of open space, greenery throughout, and is intricately decorated. It features a private yoga room and home gym, but it is a little light on some of the usual amenities. The Bradys were really looking for a sanctuary away from all the fame. You can't just pass a house like this onto any normal buyer. You've got to find a buyer who is cool enough to be worthy of it. 
That's why selling it to Dr. Dre for 40 mil was perfect. Their $33 million Boston home is just as peaceful and Instagrammable as you'd expect. The 10,000 square foot brick mansion estate sits on five acres of land. It features the same exact carefully curated style and simplicity. Unfortunately, they had to sell this one too now that their families moved to Florida. So where are they living now? They're living in the freaking castle, St. Petersburg itself. Shaquille O'Neal is one of the best basketball players of all time, is a successful commentator, and he'll pretty much take any endorsement no matter how ridiculous. Say what you want about the sillier side of Shaq, he's managed to pull in $400 million. The $16 million, 31,000 square foot estate in the gated golf community of Islesworth outside Orlando, Florida, is as big and bold as the man himself. As you'd expect, once you go inside you see a ceiling height built to accommodate the 7 foot 1 athlete. The entire house is that same immaculate white that's so popular right now. Further inside you'll see a walk-in closet, a beautiful marble master bedroom, and a room of memorabilia from his career. Of course, then there's his giant Superman bed which I need in my house. It also features a showroom that holds 17 cars, a cigar room, a safe room, a home theater, a wine cellar, and a recording studio. Most importantly, he has a 6,000 square foot Miami Heat themed basketball court. In October of 2021, he managed to sell his mega mansion for 11 mil. That's a 60% drop from his first asking price of 28 mil. The real estate game really doesn't care who you are or how many funny commercials you make. It's hard to describe just how exciting it was to watch Michael Phelps swim in the Olympics. Back in the day, he was the biggest athlete in America. Back at his peak, he lived in this swanky $2.5 million mansion in the Paradise Valley area of Phoenix, Arizona. The home had a spread out, crisp white and red aesthetic perfect for the rustic area. It was a 6,010 square foot house with five bedrooms and six and a half bathrooms. Of course, it also had a giant pool for him to practice in. Alas, those days are over, and he sold this home for $3.5 million in 2018. He moved into another place in Paradise Valley for $6.1 million. The home has six bedrooms and eight bathrooms, and features a ton of recreational spaces, including a barbecue area, hot tub, sauna, wet bar, and pool. Now he's retired with only his beautiful family and his $80 million to comfort him. Poor guy. Michael Jordan is still one of the most popular athletes of all time, despite some recent controversies. The athlete is worth $1.6 billion and has a $29 million house fit for one of the greatest basketball players of all time. The 56,000 square foot Chicago mansion isn't subtle about who owns it. Seriously, the main gate has a giant 23 in it. Past the long driveway, you'll see a big compound that kind of looks like the world's swankiest prison. Once you walk inside, you'll immediately see a piano that beckons you to one of the many sitting rooms. Then you'll see a master living room with brown walls framing a big TV. That kind of classy man cave aesthetic is consistent throughout the house including the cigar room and the wine cellar. I mean his billiards room has doors from the original Playboy Mansion. There are also nice eating areas with a skylight, a round sitting area perfect for guests, 9 bedrooms and 16 baths. Of course it also features a basketball court as the centerpiece with the name written on both sides and his logo in the center. It also features some of the go-to celebrity amenities like an infinity pool, a putting green, a pond filled with fish, and a tennis court. Despite the fact that this is his dream home, it's proven to be impossible to sell. He apparently has to pay $100,000 in property taxes every year. In hindsight, maybe it was a mistake to build a house that was specifically built for Michael Jordan and Michael Jordan alone. David and Victoria Beckham live in exactly the kind of house you'd think they would. They live in a $40.9 million home in London's exclusive Holland Park area. If you were wondering, yes, it does look like it should be featured on The Crown. Once the Beckhams show off their family pictures, it's kind of shocking how normal it all seems. The kitchen has wood floors and marble counters. The family seems to spend a great deal of time cooking together like a perfectly average... Yeah, right. While the family might take plenty of pics with them around their London home's fireplace, they also have had other enormous properties. One is a $1.6 million seven bedroom Dubai villa that's nicer than most resorts. Then there was Beckingham Palace, their $3.3 million estate. It featured a petting zoo, a woodland chapel, fake ancient ruins forming a playground, and a football pitch. It also had not so kid friendly quirks like mirrored ceilings and the room Victoria described as a tarts boudoir with leopard print walls. Yeah, no matter how many times they try to fool you into thinking they're a perfectly normal family, don't buy it. The average NBA salary is 7.9 million. Do you think if I started training really, really hard that I could get a house like these? 
I'm not looking for honesty. 